Hey, what's up guys? I'm over here at Lake Levon Dam. I'm uh, going to do a little exploration here on my SUP board. Uh, I've never paddled here before, so this is going to be my first time. Uh, the dam is right there behind me. Uh, they are currently not releasing any water, which is good. Hopefully they won't release any water. Um, but my plan is to basically drop in right here. There's like a concrete uh, path or a partial concrete path that goes down to these railroad tracks. And then I'm going to drop in over there. I'm going to see how far I can make it. Um, I don't know, two miles, three miles, maybe five or six. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to film this. It's going to be my first time. I'm going to record it. See you in a little bit. All right, let's see uh, if I can make it down here to this water. This drop-in looks pretty uh, crazy. Uh, there's the dam. sign back there that said you're not allowed to drop inflatables between the dam and the railroad track so I'm going to obey the law it looks like this is a good spot right here um. it's a little shallow but I think I can make this work
headed south on this little creek. I'm coming up on these railroad tracks, um, and that's Highway 78. So uh, if you look to the right, there's a bunch of rocks. It looks like they're doing some grading and stuff over there uh, around the railroad track uh, pillars. But right here, there's like a little smaller dam. Um, so I guess if there, there was more water flow on this creek that it would be pretty dangerous so you might want to try to avoid this dam but right now there's barely any water flow so you can come right up on it like this <clears throat> you can see um, so what I basically did I didn't film it but I, I just pulled off on those rocks right there and then just walked around the dam then just dropped in uh, just a little bit south of it so that worked out fine. So on this section of the creek, I had to use my phone's GPS and maps to get my orientation correct as far as uh, the, the path that I was going to take on this creek. I basically came up on like a three-way intersection and I was, you know, I had no idea which direction I was going to paddle down. So keep in mind that you're going you're probably going to have to use your phone you might want to have it fully charged before you go out here uh, you might even want to bring a battery or something to keep your phone charged just in case you get lost there really isn't anything out here there's no this is really uh, kind of like in the middle of nowhere there's it doesn't even look like there's any trails or anything nearby So here's status of the mission. I was trying to make it to Ray Hubbard, but I didn't quite uh, reach the lake. Um, I made it from the dam to a set of power lines. Um, three miles exactly out, three miles back, so a total of about six miles. Uh, I left a little late this afternoon, so I didn't really want to be out here. Uh, when the sun was going down. I, I spotted a lot of serpents out here. Looks like they were getting ready to feed, so I didn't want them to come on my board here and bite my ankle or anything like that. <laughs> so, um, I'm north of 78 right now. I just walked over the dam, the smaller dam. I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna come back out here maybe in the morning sometime and try it again. It'll probably be well, it's, it's definitely going to be further. It's, it's going to be a total round trip. Maybe I'm guessing eight or nine miles. So um, I think it's going to be about a half day thing. Not really something you want to do in the afternoon at night, coming into the night. But overall, it was good. There were a few shallow logs I had to watch out for. Only one little spot was narrow, but it was good. Uh, so I'm headed back, and that's it. See ya.